So just down the street from my house, there was a 97 Mustang GT parked in the dirt. And the guy who lived there worked on people's cars, so I knew it didn't belong to him. But um, it turns out it belonged to a guy who owned an 01 Bullet, as a matter of fact. And he had given this GT to his son when he bought the Bullet. And the Bullet was pretty run down as well, but um, he, the, the son just really destroyed this car. And he ended up uh, ruining the engine in it somehow. And he asked the guy to fix it, and the guy looked it over and said that there wasn't really much he can do to fix up the engine. And so the car was sitting, and that's when um, my neighbor said, Hey, are you interested in buying this car at all? And my brother Danny Johnson was there, and he said, Hey, I'd, I'd be interested in it. And he picked it up for like a few hundred dollars. It was pretty cheap. But you can see that it was in pretty rough shape. There were dog scratch marks all over it, and... The interior was pretty filthy. The The guy who owned the car, just to tell you what kind of guy he is, he went out and bought another Mustang, a, a brand new one, and he got behind on the payments, so he just parked it out in the woods and left it there. So he didn't really take care of his cars at all. So buying this car, um, we already knew what we were getting into. It was a rough, rough-shaped car. It was pretty trashed, but... My brother started parting it out, you know, taking some things off of it, and he thought, you know, the car is still in really good shape, and it's got a straight body. Look how disgusting that interior is. That's how we found it. The seat was out of it and everything. So Danny decided to get a trailer and go up there and pick up the car. So we hooked it up to our parents' Suburban, and we borrowed a trailer from my neighbor, and it took us a few tries to get it lined up right the way it was because we couldn't move it but we pushed it up on there and, uh, and we got it loaded up and took it home to my place and you can see we're just really excited to get it it was so fun to pick up another Mustang uh, it always is fun for us to get a Mustang and if you look here on the back of the trailer you can see a two valve engine that was actually out of the guy's bullet so he had this PI head engine that came with the car and we decided we'd try to get it running so Danny ended up selling it to one of our friends and the friend she had a purple 96 GT convertible which was pretty rare but she decided to pull the engine out here you can see that's the old one coming out and she took that bullet engine and and rebuilt it put cams forged internals everything into it she actually uh, did a five liter stroker in it and her husband did a lot of the work I was very proud of him getting the book and reading on the internet and figuring things out and he seemed like he did really well building up the engine on that car and it was a pretty cool project for her to take it and uh, she even took the interior out and put a whole new 01 Mustang GT interior in it but there's a nice set of headers and everything got it outside cleaned it up we even changed the wheels to another set of GT wheels for it and in no time she had it running and here it is at the airport races the old airport races where I was racing the bullet and at the time the bullet had heads cams built engine gears and she was real anxious to race the bullet and we had a fun time racing I think uh, having hers with the automatic and it was uh, restricting it quite a bit and the bullet was able to jump out pretty good on her and I had drag radials on too and stuff but it was so fun to get the cars together and go drive this car that was once sitting in a yard, forgotten. But anyway, thanks for watching. I love these stories. They're awesome. Uh, check out the playlist and enjoy these stories as I make them. Of course, you can leave in the comments stories you have or share anything you like about it. I love reading the comments. I love getting feedback on these stories. Thanks.